Well, welcome back to A Minute with Alan. Today I'm irritated about car controls. I have five vehicles. Save your letters and postcards, okay? And uh, each one of them has controls in different places. Horn, lights, radio, all this kind of stuff. Even the two Bentleys I have, which are different models same year, have controls in different places. Now, a lot of you have rented cars when you've been traveling. And when you rent a car, if you're smart at all, the first thing you do is just sit in it for about two minutes and you learn where the horn is and the lights are and the radio is and all this kind of stuff. It's interesting to me that cars are now mandated to have heated rear windows. And I don't know if this is mandated or not, but most of them have blind side indicators. If somebody's in your blind spot, you have to wear your seat belt. Some of them have governors on the engine and can't go above a certain uh, you know, miles per hour and so on. But why on earth don't they mandate that basic controls need to be in the same place? And for those of you who have a lot of gizmos on the steering wheel, Ferrari's famous for this. I had three Ferraris. The new ones are even worse. Uh, most of the controls are supposed to be within your reach so you don't take your hands off the wheel. The trouble is if you slam that horn, and you shouldn't have to look at a horn to hit it. You slam that horn, you're hitting four other buttons, and suddenly, you know, you're connected to Stuttgart or something. Uh, or, or um, well, let's see, it, it would be, I guess, um, uh, Rome or someplace like that for Ferrari, anyhow. Car controls ought to be somewhat, you know, uh, arranged so that they're the same. They're consistent from car to car. Uh, and that's my rant for today. But now that I've made yourself conscious about it, try to find your cruise control really fast.